May I speak to Kelly Burke, please? This is Kelly. Hi, Kelly. My name is Greg Zetner. I'm a field agent with the Colorado Bureau of Investigation in Denver, Colorado. Hi. Hi there. Thanks for turning my phone call. <laughs> hey, I wanted to ask you a few questions. Do you have a few minutes to talk about, uh, Shanann? Yes. Okay. Sure. Just so you know, this is this phone is going to be recorded, so just so you're aware. Okay. 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 So let me, uh, let me get a little information from you. Do you have a middle name? Yes. Okay. And is this this is the best number for you? This this uh, six two six number. Yeah, it's my cell number. Okay. What's your uh, home address? Uh, okay. How long have you known Shadan? I've known her since she was a little girl. We used to live across the. We lived across the street from each other in Clifton. Okay. So, so how old were you when you guys met, do you think? Um, I was probably 10, 11. And you guys were? She, I'm six years older than her. Oh, you are? So. Okay. Yeah. Six. So you guys didn't really go to, like, school together. You were... No. Just no. Right. Okay. All right. And you guys have kept in touch this whole time? Um, we lost touch when they moved to North Carolina. Okay. And about 10 years ago, we got back in touch through Facebook. Oh, okay. Visited each other a few times, North Carolina and Colorado. So you came out to Colorado a few times? Twice I was out there to visit them. Okay. So mm -hmm. let's see, 10 years, so you, so you found each other on Facebook about 10 years ago. Right, right. And then, um, do you remember, let's see, so you came out to Colorado two times. <laughs> When was the last 2000, time you were out here? 2014. 2014. Right. That was the last time you were here? That was the last time I was in Colorado, yes. Okay. All right. So I assume you had uh, met uh, Chris as well. I did. Okay. All right. Um, how often did you and uh, uh, Shanann, did you guys talk a lot on the phone or were you more like text and Facebook <laughs> stuff? Uh, we did text, Facebook, some phone calls. Okay. We didn't talk as much as I would have liked. Yeah. Um, we did. I would say we probably text more often. Okay. The last time I had seen her, we had gone to New Orleans together in the end of April. Oh, okay. I think I saw that uh, so I, photo on Facebook. Yeah, so uh, we did see each other. And was that a uh, Lavelle event? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. So are you with the Lavelle also? I am, not as much as she was into it, but... Yeah, she, sounds like she was pretty heavy into it. Yes, very much so. Okay. So, did, you, did, uh, did she recruit you for that? She did. Okay. All right, so you, you were in New Orleans for a LaBelle event. Sorry, I'm taking some notes right. here, so let me okay. try to catch up. <clears throat> so, did you guys hang out quite a bit when you were in New Orleans? Yeah, we stayed in the same hotel room. Okay. Did you guys have a chance? That was for the whole five days. Okay. Did you guys have a chance to talk about their relationship, how is she doing with Chris, anything like that? Girl. As far as I knew, everything was fine. She never let me I, I had no, not with me, no. Okay. Would that be something that she would normally talk to you about? Uh, I would have hoped she would have. I would have hoped that she had felt she could have. Um, but like I said, as far as I knew, everything was okay. She talked to him while we were there. Everything seemed fine while with her talking to him. Yeah. So with, with her conversations with him, were they, um, were, were you around when they were talking? Did they seem contentious or they seem, you know, like normal? No, a few times in the room she would call him at night, you know, how are the girls, how are things. Everything seemed normal. Okay. So like a, a normal conversation to have. A normal conversation, yes. Okay. 
<laughs> and were those phone calls pretty long in length, or were they really short? No, I would say relatively short, not anything lengthy, no. Okay. Not when I was around anyway. Yeah. Okay. And like I said, I was with her most of the time. And you said that was five days worth, you think? Yeah, we yeah we were there five days. Um, let's see. When was the last time you actually spoke to her? Uh, it was a week before she went missing. We were texting. Okay. <laughs> she had told me she was excited about going home. Is that when she was in uh, North Carolina with the girls? Yes, okay. right. That's... That was about a week before she went missing, you said? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Anything unusual or anything stand out about that text string? No. Okay. No, we were talking about her being ready to go home, and she said absolutely she was ready. Okay. Did, you, did she say if Chris was with her at that point? She didn't tell me he was, but I knew he had gone there the last week she was in North Carolina. How did you know that? She told me he was going there the last week, and then I saw pictures on Facebook. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, do you remember how you found out that she was actually missing and the girls? Uh, it was Monday night, and I saw her brother's post on Facebook. What did that post say? Um, geez, what did the first one I saw say? Something along the lines of, please pray my sister and the girls went missing. Something along those lines. I don't remember exactly what it said. Okay. That was from her brother? It was her brother, yeah. All right. When you saw that, did you try to call her, or text her, or reach out to her, anything like that? Did I, t I don't believe I text her, no. Because, no, um, I knew her phone was found at home, her mom told me. I spoke to her mom that Monday night. You did, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> what did mom say? Uh, her, she was concerned. Okay. Um, she had said that, um, you know, Chris backing his truck into the driveway was unusual. And just that he hadn't been his normal self while he was in North Carolina. Okay. Did she... Ex she used the word standoffish, standoffish was what she had said. Okay. Yeah, but she didn't go into any more detail than that. <clears throat> All right. How did she know about the, uh, about him back in the truck into the, into the, uh, dra in the garage, sorry? How did she know that he did? Yeah. Um, I, I'm not really sure. I don't know if she had spoken to a neighbor or if Chris had told her. I'm not, I'm really not exactly sure how she knew that. Okay. Had, had she talked to Chris that night, do you know? I don't know if she spoke to him that night. Okay. <clears throat> I had texted him. You texted and Chris? He was, yeah, and he was answering me like he didn't know anything. That was Monday night? Uh, the, I don't know if it was Monday night or Tuesday. I have the messages in my phone, but it might have been Tuesday. Could I get you to um, take screenshots of those and send them to me? Sure. That would be great. If yeah, if you get um, if you get text messages starting anytime on Monday concerning this. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was Monday or. Tuesday, but I do. I did save them all. I have everything. Okay. Um, hold on. Where can I send them to? Um, you can either text them. Let's see. Let me give you. Let me give you my email address. It might be easier. Okay. Let me just find a piece of paper to write on here. Okay. So basically, it's going to be my name. So it'll be Greg G R E G. Okay. Dot Z as in zebra, E N as in Nancy, T as in Tom, N as in Nancy E R. Okay. At state. 
.co .us. .us? Uh, State.co.us. U.S., okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and if you'd do the screenshots, that'd be great. I'd appreciate that. No so, problem. How, how many uh, how many text exchanges did you have with Chris? Um, there was a few. Okay. And that was, you think, was that Monday night you said? I'm sorry. Do you want me to look while I have you on the phone? Oh, yeah, if you got it handy. Let me, yeah, let me, I just have to put you on speaker. Hold on. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, Chris. Oh, it was Monday night at 6 o'clock. Okay. <clears throat> Is that 6 o'clock your time? Uh, yes. Okay. And then the last time I spoke to him was Tuesday. At 4.20 my time. And then I text him on Wednesday afternoon, but there was no answer, so. Okay. What time on Wednesday does it say? Uh, 2.08 p.m. Okay. So, yeah, there was quite a few back and forth messages. Okay. Yeah, if you'd send me those, that'd be great. I'd appreciate it. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. Did um, in those text strings, what's he what's he saying to you? Um, let me see. Let me go back. Um, I first said, "Oh my God, Chris, what's going on?" He said, "We can't find Shanann or the kids at all." And then um, he said, "The car was there. They were going to file a missing persons report in the morning if you didn't hear from her." Um, he said he spoke to her in the morning between 4 and 5 a.m., and she went back to sleep, and she was still there when he left, and the kids were still sleeping. And then uh, he said the cops were searching the house, and the cops had her phone. And then I asked him how he knew something was wrong, and he said she didn't answer my calls or text today or anyone else's. And I was basically just asking questions like, um, was the house locked? Was there any sign of a break-in? Things like that. Okay. Did he ever say anything about, um, like, meds being gone or anything like that? Meds not being taken, clothes or anything like that? Um, no. The only thing he said was that her, the car was there and her phone was still there. And her phone, Okay. And then the last thing he told me was that the he had talked to three different news crews and the dogs swept the house for scent. And that was the last thing he texted me. And that was Tuesday at 420. Okay. Um, anything about their relationship that ever kind of didn't sit right with you or seemed unusual or off? No, I thought they were the perfect couple. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's pretty and much that's, the consensus. That's what everybody, I know, I, I'm just, I, I can't even believe we're having this conversation. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, I feel like it's just, it's happening to somebody else. I had met him when they first started dating in North Carolina, and he seemed like such a nice guy. Yeah. I just, I, That's I don't understand any of this. Yeah, a lot of people have told us the same thing. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, let's see. Anything we haven't covered that you think we need to? No, I don't think so. Okay. Look back. I wish you could just say, Kelly, this is why this happened. Yeah, I wish I had an answer for you. I really do. It's just, it's just, there's no words. Mm -hmm. There's not. Yeah. 
When, when was the first time you came out to Colorado? The first time was 2013. Okay. When she was pregnant, actually. We were out there for the, her baby shower with Bella. Okay. And it was their one-year wedding anniversary. All right. And then in 2014, was there a special occasion why you came out for that one? Um, that was around my birthday. Okay. <clears throat> the last time you actually saw Chris? That second, 2014, and when I went out there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Did you go on other other trips with uh, with Shanann? No, not with Lavelle, no. Uh, just, yeah, just the one to New Orleans? That was just the one in New Orleans, yeah. Okay. All right, um... All right. Well, that's all I can think of off the top of my head. If you think of anything else that you okay. think is absolutely important, if you would send me okay. an email or give me a phone call, I'd appreciate that. Okay. And if you'll Definitely. Send those, uh, those screenshots. Yeah, I'll send you all the all the messages. Yep. No, I appreciate that. So. Okay. Okay. Well, I appreciate you calling me back, and you know, if you need to talk again, please let me know. Yeah. If you need anything from me, let me know. We'll do. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye.